Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Om Kara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Scorpio, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Scorpio. Alright newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading Scorpio, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, eight of swords. Somebody is really, really, really stressed out. Uh, I have a feeling there's silence between the two of you. Maybe somebody is feeling disrespected or they feel that person is not talking to them. Maybe feeling that they're turning their back to this connection. Mm. Four of Wands is in reverse as well. So before I start clarifying these cards, uh, of course, um, Scorpio, let's start with some um, messages from the universe to see why we're doing this reading. Uh, Spirit, what's going on in this connection? Why am I doing this Scorpio reading? What's the underlying issue here? One more, please. Somebody's in a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, feeling trapped in their mind, can't find a way out. That's too many. Just one more, please. One more. All right. Here we go. The first card here, Scorpio says, mm, Deception. Something isn't what it seems to be. Hiding. Someone is isolating themselves away from this connection. Balance. There may be a need for equal give and take. Past life. You've known this connection before. Past life connection. Alright, so there is deception and there is some hiding going on. Maybe that's the trap. I don't know why if somebody is feeling that person is lying to them or giving up or turning their back or... Let's see. I'm going to start with your dialogue message card, Scorpio. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I'll clarify these. Scorpio and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and that person, thank you. Let's take a few more Scorpio from another deck. Scorpio and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Scorpio and that person spirit. All right, and just a few more Scorpio from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Scorpio and their person spirit. One person is still, I guess, was hoping for a long time this connection wouldn't end. I think they're also getting a bit exhausted, tired. Okay, the first card here says, I need to clear my pending karmas. Like Spirit says, you've known each other, known this connection before from a past life. We've undefined passion for each other. You're a catalyst to my spiritual growth. I want to come back to you. I need to work on myself. I did not expect you to enter my life when you did. I was not ready. I've been hurt so badly. I don't know if I can really love again. I'll always remember you. You are unforgettable. I know that I'm marriage material and I know deep down you know that too. Giving up and leaving just seems so much easier than to deal with any more pain. You inspire me. I talk to you a lot in my head. It doesn't feel right being apart from you. I want to marry you one day. 
I want you here next to me. All right. So these were some of your messages, Scorpio. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Scorpio gang with today. As a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Love. There is love here, I guess. And uh, Spirit is sending you love and peace. My God, Scorpio, this is a blessing for you, I think. You are going to be in a very peaceful place with a lot of love around you. Claim this. I, I feel this, this connection has karmic ties or maybe it's was meant to trigger or teach each other a lesson or something. I don't know what's happening. Let's see. Uh, Spirit, tell me what's happening this side. And newcomers, these are two soul energies in front of me. I don't know which side you're on. I don't want to know. I'm going to be fair to both sides, okay? And um, of course, if this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this other person is for you. Of course, could be a love interest, could be an ex, could be a spouse, could be a you know, relative, could be a business partner or a best friend. I don't know. So, yeah, a person... Um, Okay, I didn't even ask the question. One second. Person A, I'm going to start with your energy. And um, after I'm done with you, then we'll move to the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to focus on one side, which is person A for me. And Scorpio, you could be either side. So person A, what's the high priestess? What's the high priestess? Yeah, I think person A is uh, kind of listening to their intuition. Uh, they uh, were hoping, I think, for a long time that their person would step up or they, they were trying to maybe heal this connection or something. But they're coming to a point where they're saying, I'm done here. I'm done here. No more second chances. I've been very patient. I've been waiting. And um, uh, they feel that now I know. I know. My intuition tells me this. it's time for me to shut this door because they feel that person is very rude and mean and... Uh, narcissistic or controlling and uh, whoever person A is if they feel the lack of respect or lack of stability or lack of feeling uh, seen or heard or respected it's like yeah I don't feel like victorious in this connection I think uh, whoever person A is was hoping for a long time or at least wishing or what a manifesting I don't know what that that person would step up take responsibility do right by them this could be a long lasting connection or something but now it's coming to a point where they're finally coming to listening to their intuition to feel that you know what this is not this is not it uh, it's high time I kind of accepted that this person is unwilling to be nice. I think person A is just angry and feeling disrespected in this connection. They're ready, I think, to take a leap of faith in a new direction. Why, why is that person A? Tell me. Person A says, because my person keeps lying to me all the time. Ace of swords in reverse. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen. There's no clarity about the future. I have been patient. I have been, you know, waiting. But now I feel trapped. I feel trapped in my own mind because they refuse to be honest with me. They don't tell me anything. They don't uh, message me. They don't talk to me. And they, I feel they are, they're all, they're all, all they're doing is telling lies to me. Uh, and I feel I'm doing all the question answers in my own mind and, you know, just staying trapped in a situation which is clearly not going anywhere. Ace of Swords in reverse again. Whenever they do message, it's all a lie. I can't trust them anymore. I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. I feel hurt. I feel stabbed in the back. I feel the lack of love in my life. And I feel I've been dealing with a trickster who makes me feel unseen, unheard, unloved. So, person A, tell me how do you see the connection now? And how do you feel about person B? Person A says, I'm ready to give up Omkara Taro. I can't carry this burden for the rest of my life. It's time for me to come out of feeling uh, like just an option in my person's life. I need to choose myself. I need to stop doing what I've been doing and lay down the burden. It's time for me to turn my back and take take um, charge of my own life and follow my own passions and you know, take care of myself and maybe move forward maybe to a stable brand new start somewhere else yeah i think person a is just right now very very exhausted 
tired, very, very disappointed. And they're telling me I don't have any more time to waste. I, uh, they, my person never put in any investment. They were selfish. They were self-centered. They're only thinking about themselves, not about us. So I've tried as much as I can. I'm ready to lay the burden down. So what action person A will finally take, I will open later. Um, Scorpio, let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, the world in reverse. I, I don't think person B wants this connection to shut down. Uh, they know that person A is angry with them, but they are hoping, they were, or they are hoping that things will heal. Sooner or later, they'll be fine. But um, they're hoping this connection does not end. I think they are a little scared that uh, person A may one day just give up on them or something and things may come to a halt. But um, uh, they somewhere feel, uh, yeah, sooner or later they'll come back or I can go back. Right? So somewhere a person B has hopes that this connection will not end and even if something goes wrong, yeah, I know, I know they'll give up but then, you know, I'm sure they'll come back again or uh, we can get, get over whatever problems we had. Mm, they are hoping that that person doesn't turn their back on them though. And why do you feel this way, person B? The lovers in reverse. What's the choice? What's the choice? Some way they feel, I don't know, person B is a little cocky. Some way they feel that uh, they can offer anything small and change direction anytime. They can rebuild. They can get that person to decide whatever they want. I mean, it's like, yeah, I know, I know, I, I know I've broken their heart. I've made promises I never kept. But, you know, we'll get over it. We'll get over it. I mean, the toxicity will go, whatever's happened. I'm sure I won't have a missed opportunity. Maybe I'll just go to them with a little cup of love or an apology or something. Yeah, I know, we'll, we'll be happy, happy once again. So, okay, that's strange. Okay, so tell me person B. Person is quite confident that they can, I mean, they're hoping person A doesn't give up, but I don't think they expect them to. It's like, yeah, even if they are angry, ah, we'll make up. I'll just, I'll just do the right thing, say the right things. I know I've, I've hurt them, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so person B, tell me, how do you see the connection now and how do you feel about person A? Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. Four of Wands in reverse. Again, see, again, person B says, yeah, temporarily there's problems between us. Things are, uh, you know, stagnated temporarily. But, you know, I know it's not going to end. It's not going to end. I don't want this connection to end. Person B somewhere feels they can emotionally manipulate person A into um, healing. Yeah, they'll, they'll just, I'll just give them a few breadcrumbs maybe I can get them to do I mean yeah I know I'll have to just put in a little bit of work I'll just make wrongs right I know things are not working right now I know you know whatever but uh, right now things are going another direction but I have some secrets up my sleeve I know how to make this right right so it's almost like somebody here feels I can blow hot and cold and keep person a doing what they want them to do and not end the chapter with them. So, let's see what actions you guys will take then. I'm going to take another deck for this one, Scorpio. And while I shuffle this deck, may I please request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated. Thank you. And newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. So person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Three of swords. Person A is really hurting. Why? Why the three of swords in, river, uh, in the upright? Devil. There's a toxic attachment here or what is it? Yeah, person A is not very discontent. They're not happy. They're not happy that the way things have gone. It's 
somehow some way person A is still open ready to talk with person B have an honest communication with them to decide whether I don't know I don't know about person A they are it's almost like a karmic tie or something it's like I can't live with or without them all right so person B tell me action from your end towards person A or otherwise seven of pentacles what's the seven of pentacles what's the seven of pentacles as an action emperor seven of pentacles again and the three of swords i think they're pretty disappointed in themselves as well uh, they know they've broken person a's heart i think they have full intentions of making things right but they keep disappointing their own selves they do have love for person a they do want to talk to person a and yes they are quite convinced they can have a second chance because inside of them they're a bit scared they're a bit scared that what if one day person a sees the light and ends things with me or refuses me or person B feels a strong attachment to person A but I don't know I don't know I don't I don't understand this dynamic person B is still doing going to do what they have to do this a knight of wands energy and yet they want to keep person A trapped with them and each time I think they sense person A leaving they kind of pull them back what's the eight of swords why is this the overall energy spirit eight of swords this is like for a very very select group of scorpios i'm sure it doesn't connect with most of you eight of swords somebody had to hear it today eight of swords yeah see eight of cups magician yeah it's it's almost every time they feel that that person is moving on towards somebody new or they're talking to somebody new or they're getting victory in their own life this is a, a little bit of a magician trickster energy who just kind of apologizes it's almost like they have the magic trick to get keep that person here trapped so i think person a if you're the one watching i think it's time to wake up right so that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste